some archbishop Been a school them from when me in a khaki shot Liverpool couldn't test the way me rass it up quick draw Him drop and can't get up, him not fast enough for my problem That you never solve Send for the damn race for your fire storm Cause I turn into a monster Ready for the war Better with your black None of them boy, they no bad Them boy, they love us is about I have never done an official deload week I have only deloaded or not worked out when we went on vacation and even sometimes on vacation you guys know I will bust out something to get some type of movement in but I've never done an official deload week and your girl is stubborn and needs to get out of her mind and start doing it my girl Jen would be proud of me because I am doing a deload week this week because I went hard last week if you watched last week's vlog on the two-day at-home workouts and then we did go to the gym at the end of the week and we just freaking went to the max as hard as we could and I felt it over the weekend like my joints my muscles everything was dusted I was feeling kind of like that burnt out mentality like I don't want to work out and that's not like me and I said you know what something's got to give we've got to change something and we're gonna do a deload week and see what this is all about so a deload week is when you either decrease your reps keep your weight the same but decrease your reps or you decrease your weight 50% and keep the same exact reps. So what I've been doing is keeping the same reps, keeping the same exact circuit, but I've just been decreasing my load, my weight by 50% and really slowing down everything as you guys saw today with like the hip thrust and really having that mind muscle con connection. And let me tell you, these workouts have been freaking killer. When I've been slowing it down and really just focusing on form and everything else, it has been freaking awesome. Awesome. And the whole point of doing the deload for most people is that when you get done with your deload week, next week I should come back with a vengeance, back even stronger in beast mode. And that is the goal because we are leaving, what is it, like the 17th or something, that Thursday for November. And we are going to be going to the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area, Dollywood, all the good things for our family vacation. And I am not going to be working out. So that's going to be like a, a real deload. But before we go on vacation, I want to like hit PRs. I want to max on things and I want to really freaking push myself and crush my workouts as far as weight and load. So I thought this deload, even though it's close to like me going on vacation and stuff where I'm not going to be working out was actually like necessary for me I say all the time mental is so important with your health journey no matter where you are in the stage the mental aspect of it is so freaking real and I was just feeling like kind of burnt out and I don't like that feeling because I love being in the gym I love doing my workouts and I don't ever want to have that feeling like I don't want to go like that's not even me that's like Bev talking some kind of smack happy November are we crushing the no excuses November challenge I know I mentioned in last week's video if you didn't catch it that guys don't 
look at it as an all or nothing challenge. A lot of y'all have done that with past challenges that we've done or haven't even gotten on board with a challenge because you already have psyched yourself out thinking that you're going to hashtag fail. If you show up and if you're consistent, the majority of that checkoff calendar, you're going to see progress and you're going to see results. Let me tell you, I am not going to be hitting off every one of those marks because we are leaving on vacation on the 17th and I am not going to be able to weigh and track everything on the go and possibly hit my protein goal, all the things, but I'm going to be trying to get my steps, of course, while we are on vacation, but I'm not going to stress about it. But leading up to that, I'm going to be freaking consistent as hell. And that's what's going to see results rather than you have the mentality of, oh, I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to go. And then that leads you nowhere. Showing up one time per week is better than not showing up period. Y'all get this like all or nothing mindset out of your head. I see a lot of you guys doing that and psyching yourself out and that leads to you just not doing anything. You look around, the time's gone by and 20 pounds has went up on the scale. But if you had been consistent, you might have still gained some weight because you didn't go as you know hard as maybe you could have, but you wouldn't have went as crazy. Does that make sense? So consistency and something is always better than nothing. I always preach that here. I'm feeling really good. I'm hoping that we get the results that we want from this deload. And I'm going to be doing this every 10 weeks now. I'm going to be consistent. I've already marked it on my calendar. It is set to go for the next time we do an official deload and see if this helps me out. And this is actually supposed to help you build muscle more efficiently in the long run too versus like what I've been doing. So you know your girl's hard-headed and I'm always thinking I can go Hulk and Beast, but sometimes we gotta take a back seat and do what we're supposed to do. Speaking of, I'm like next level starving. Y'all know leg day, no matter what we're lifting, always gets me for some reason. And I'm doing the Great Value Beef Jerky Original. It's 100 calories and 17 grams of protein. I like this one, convenience. I'm gonna be packing stuff like this when we go on our trip just to put in my backpack while we're on the go. And of course, we got a carb source, which is a banana. So that's what I'm doing post-workout. Yes, I'm at freaking Wally World. Y'all know this is my second home. I'm actually just going in here. You know I'm going to be looking at the Halloween stuff. It's a day after Halloween when I'm here. It's November 1st. I'm going to go check it out. Like, I need any more-ish. But it's going to be on the clearance. We focus in on Christmas right now. I'm going in there and getting some bins to pack up everything. We're going to be deep cleaning when we get home. So I'm going to get lots of movement in today. And actually, like, organizing the attic in ish Like, not looking forward to that because it's still kind of hot here. And it's, like, a million degrees up there. But I'm going to go in here and get some organizational stuff. And let me know in the comments down below. I've already pulled Instagram and I'm kind of surprised by the results. But November 1st, are you a like put your Christmas tree up, decorate the inside type of person? Or are you the day after Thanksgiving inside and outside goes out? Comment down below like November 1st or after Thanksgiving. Comment that in your regular comment. But I am usually like day after Thanksgiving for the outside decor for sure. I like to keep up like my fall, my pumpkins and stuff and get the most bang for my buck. I'm going to take the Halloween stuff down. But inside, I'm already itching like to decorate the Christmas stuff. We're going to go on a girls like shopping, hunting trip like we did for Halloween for Christmas this Saturday with my family. I think I'm going to go ahead and like deep clean and put ish out today. Like I know crazy. Even put my tree up. Who is she? I know I, I'm not, I said I wasn't going to be that person, but I put my tree up, I think like on the 10th last year. So we're just a little bit early, but the outside for sure is going to be a couple of weeks. I might put it up before we go on a vacation just so it's done when we get back. We're coming back like the day of Thanksgiving. Uh, so that way I don't have to worry about it. Kind of like chillax and it already be done. But let me know down below thoughts on like Mariah Carey Christmas, uh, you know, the day after Halloween. I want to hear everything down below. Let's eat snack, go get some bins, go home and organize and then get some lunch. Lunch is like so simple y'all, but so freaking good. Almost 12 o'clock, it is lunchtime. We are making a meatball like pita sub. It, it was so good yesterday and this is so simple and basic y'all. Don't overcomplicate things. I preach all the time. These Joseph's pita breads, I love the flat breads too, but these pita breads are bomb and they're just 60 calories, six grams of protein here for it. I can only find these at my little market Walmart though. They don't sell them at the big one. And then I had some of these Aldi chicken meatballs with roasted red peppers. I'm trying to use things that I have on hand versus just buying random ish. And these are bomb. So the macros on these are 90 calories and 12 grams of protein for six meatballs. So that's what I've got on there. Then I've got 53 grams of the Aldi tomato and basil pasta sauce, a full serving of the mozzarella fat free cheese. Usually I'm not a fan of the cheddar, but the mozzarella y'all, it hits. It's so freaking good, especially when you melt it. 
it tastes like the original to me. And then the Herbes de Provence from Trader Joe's. Yes, I still have some of this because I went ape on it way back in the day. And it is bomb. So I'm going to stick this back in the air fryer. I already air fried my meatballs and let the cheese get all ooey and gooey. Mmm, so good. It may not look the prettiest, but I'm telling you, it is fire. I've got a serving of the Good and Gather Target Queso Blanco, 40 calories for a serving, super good. About 120 something grams of cucumbers, and then we are doing a bag of popcorn. I didn't yesterday, but I've got room in my macros. So a lesser evil Himalayan pink salt popcorn bag, which is only 50 calories. So everything on this plate, massive amount of food, is only 355 calories, 33 grams of protein, 35 total carbs, and 11 grams of fat. Let's get it. I've already been picking up while I've been waiting for things to cook. I am in the mode. I'm in the zone, but I know we're not going to get everything done today, but that's okay. Freaking crushed it. I need to put like those meatball pita sub things on the meal plan for dinner. They're fire. Saints like, what the hell woman? Where's my rugs? Where is everything? The house looks like uh, so bare because I've taken all the stuff down. I've been in the attic for hours y'all like getting such a fr I didn't even need to go to the gym today I could have did leg day going up and down them damn attic stairs okay because we have been purging and cleaning the attic I mean who is she getting bins clean going through crap that's like 20 plus years old got everything in here now the goal is to try to get this up because I'm hard-headed I'm not gonna wait for the hubs yeah I know I should but we want to get this ish done so I want to like be able to get all this stuff done so I can clean next right Saint you know help at all. 3.30, I'm taking a break finally into snack time. We have dusted, we have mopped, did ceiling fans, you know, getting in there. Oh my gosh, all the Halloween stuff is done. I wasn't Hulk enough to be able to put the bins up in the attic, so hubby will have to do that. However, we got everything put away. It's done. Falls outside and we've got Christmas going inside. It is what it is, all right? Usually I would just have the fall out, but because we're gonna be going on vacation and stuff, like right before Thanksgiving, I want half of it done before I get back, you know what I mean? So we've got a bag of the Orville Redenbacher. This is the Smart Pop, 100 calories a bag, and then the Buffalo Chicken Sticks. These are 60 calories and how much protein? Nine grams of protein. Y'all are asking me where I got these from over on Instagram. I got these from Thrive Market in a big pack and I like the new Primal brand a lot. Y'all know from the past, like even when doing like keto and stuff like that, they are really good, high protein, low calorie snack. But this one I've never tried and it's good. I like this one a lot. This might be my favorite. It's got a little kick to it. So if you're not a big fan of spice, you might wanna pass on it, but I highly recommend. I have a link down below that gets you $40 off your first Thrive Market order if you use a specific link. So check that out. So we've got 160 calories and 12 grams of protein, 23 total carbs, four grams of fat. I'm gonna take a little break and then we'll get back at it. 5.15, we're getting dinner ready. It's Taco Tuesday and I'm making my life super simple. So Elise Ellis, way back when, with her meal plan, she made these baked beef taco cups and I've made them several times in the beginning with her, but I'm just doing my own version today. So I'm gonna 96% ground beef. Y'all know the usual suspects when it comes to a taco seasoning every time for all the things taco right there. And then all she does does is she puts like any type of street taco in a cupcake liner and then she stuffs them with the beef cheese and then put it whatever toppings on afterwards you just bake them it's just an easy way to make like tacos in a little cup and the boys like them too so I'm that's just for me I got six ounces of beef for me hubby's not home yet so I'm not making his yet and I'm gonna stuff trays with his favorite pimento cheese and pepperoni versus the beef I mean you gotta do what you gotta do and I meant to grab um, some onion powder, wherever the heck it is. And this, uh, look, a uh, Halloween hand coming up at me. I gotta get this organized. I've been organizing everything else. I gotta get the uh, spices. Onion powder, not minced onion, y'all. A little trick that she taught me, can't uh, take credit for it, is to get a damp paper towel and put your tortillas in the damp paper towel and micro zap them for like 15, 20 seconds. And it makes them, what's the word, more pliable to be able to fit in your little taco mini muffin tin. I got my tortillas in there, has my little taco cups. I'm gonna be putting my ground beef in there and then I'm topping mine with some real Monterey Jack cheese. We doing the damn thing. We got an ounce weight up there, which is 100 calories, but it'll be so worth it. There's trays, taco cups. Your kids would probably like this too. If they don't like pimento cheese, you could put some mozzarella cheese in there with some pizza sauce and make like a pizza version of this would be bomb. And then there's mine like stuffed to the max. I really probably should have done a fourth tortilla, but it is what it is. 375, I'm gonna start out at 10 minutes, might do 
12. If you're wondering why Waylon's not eating, he's outside playing and you know he's gonna have something different. If you watch my lunch videos, you know. Far side, again, super simple. We're doing two cans of whole kernel sweet corn. Let's go. The whole family loves this. It's a win-win. I can get everybody to eat it. So when that happens, that's a score for mama. These cans from Sam's Club, I have to get shipped. They never have them in the club, but the macros are solid for these and the green beans. 50 calories for 125 grams. And it's a big ass portion, not gonna lie. And it is eight net carbs, if you're wondering, and one gram of protein here for it. We've got it doused, you know how I am, with the Kinder's Cracked Pepper Parmesan, again from Sam's Club. I have a backup because this stuff is fire on eggs, veggies especially, so good. And it says it's limited, so check your club and see if you have it. But I'm micro zap this, of course, I love my microwave. And then I'm gonna hit it with some more of the cracked pepper Parmesan on my plate anyway, because I like a little extra extra. 10 minutes was perfection. Easy peasy taco night, we're even serving it on some fine china. So I put a little bit of shredded lettuce on top and we've got exactly one serving, which is 40 calories of light sour cream with a little cilantro. And that's it. That is a serving of corn. I'm telling you guys a lot. Uh, what's that corn song? That's what reminds me every time we eat corn. All, corn is the TikTok like Instagram corn song with the little boy. So cute. 462 calories, 51 grams of protein, all that six ounces of lean beef, 27 total carbs and 19 grams of fat. It's going down. Delicious. Would add some salsa next time. I did add some like Taco Bell mild sauce, but that ish ain't hot enough for your girl. 740, never skip dessert. We made sweet and spicy macros. Y'all hear me talk about her often here lately. She's got a lot of great dessert recipes. This is her Butterfinger bars. So two of them, yes, two of them, is 233 calories, 24 grams of protein, 22 total carbs, and four grams of fat. And they are really, really good. I've enjoyed, she makes the monster protein skillet y'all have seen me made in the past is the same person she has a lot of great stuff on her instagram page i will try to link her instagram down below give her a follow she's got some great stuff and she's a big lover of pe science and she bakes and makes all the things with it and burgess gets you a discount with pe science y'all know it's my jam 10 o'clock i am next level tired um almost sixteen thousand steps like what the actual heck good thing we didn't do any cardio today but my legs are like gassed right now for our nutrition, we did 1821 on the calories, 172 grams of protons, 183 total carbs, and 50 grams of fat. To wrap out Taco Tuesday, I have thankfully a rest day tomorrow, but I have a dentist appointment for my just routine cleaning. Gotta take care of all the things. I'm always preaching to you guys, right? And I will see y'all on Thursday.
Thursday deload workout number three. So upper body day number two. Let me tell you, do not go into the mindset thinking that a deload week is going to be easy. I think that's why I never wanted to do it because, you know, I'm always trying to push myself progressive overload. I get in my head in a lot of ways too, y'all. Don't think that I don't. And I'm like, girl, why have we not done this? This is going to be so awesome for like what my, my goals are. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. I'm a freaking hard ass and head and I need to get out of my own mind a lot of times. But those workouts today, killer, especially shoulders, slowing everything down, my muscle connection is like such a burnout, such a burnout in a good way. So I'm like, dang, and I'm just feeling really good. This is exactly what I wanted, what I needed going into my sets, going into my workouts thus far with progressive overload. And I'm just thinking that next week we're freaking going to go beast. And that is the motive. That is the plan. But don't go into your health journey, losing weight, this November, no excuses challenge, thinking that you have to go all or nothing. I think we talked about this already, but I know a lot of you have this mindset, whereas if you are not perfect at something every single time, if you didn't mark off every one of the things on your list, then you're a failure. Let's just throw in the towel. Let's just binge on Oreos and forget we even started. That's not the mentality. That's not the way. Consistency is key. You'll hear me and everybody else talk about that all the time because it's the freaking truth. If you are consistent with something, most of the time, you're going to see results. They're going to add up in the long run versus you just throwing in the towel, going back to old habits, going back into old ways. That's going to get you nowhere. I don't want y'all thinking that. A lot of y'all were like, oh my gosh, I had a loved one that was in the hospital. I couldn't get my steps in. I couldn't eat my nutrition, hit my protein. I had kids that were sick. We talk about this in the past couple of videos that life is going to happen. Yes, you can make time. Yes, you can adjust, but just sometimes some things on the list don't get taken care of, but that's okay. If you took care of hitting your water, getting other things done that were a priority to you, that is better than you just saying, forget water, forget nutrition, forget steps, forget it all because this happened. You've got to go into the mindset sometimes with something is better than nothing and those little somethings will add up. Now, do I want you to try to be your best version of you each and every day to go as hard as you can? Yes, you know I do, but I'm also a realist in knowing that life happens. Things are going to happen, especially with like food and stuff. That's why so much has changed over the time on my channel. It's just being real, real life with food, real life with workouts, real life with structure and all the things, but those little steps will add up, guys. I assure you, you may not see it today, you may not see it tomorrow. Take those progress pictures, take the measurements. They tell the story more than the scale ever will, you know that I say that, but I just wanted to preach that today because I'm seeing a lot of you in the past and right now because we're getting into the holiday season where everybody's like, F it, you're getting into that mentality. Let's not go that route. Let's keep the momentum going. Let's try to do the best that we can each and every day there is no perfect practice and everything that you do is going to make better in the long run. I have the same exact snack as every day. This has just been my jam with my carb source and my protein. It's just easy and portable and not to mention cheap because what the hell is going, I mean, it's been going on, but like every time I order groceries, it's like, damn, I need to get five jobs. I don't know what's going on. Like it is like such a struggle right now. I mean, potatoes, like the things that were like the cheapest thing ever that people like lived on, especially if you're on a fixed income are now like million dollar. What the actual hell? Like I just can't get my mind wrapped around it, but that's a whole nother video we could do. This has also been the week of starvation. Like I am like super starving and I know why it's because I am at an all time, not an all time, but here recently all time low. Okay. As far as the weight goes, I got on the scale yesterday and it was 151, 151. What? I mean, we ended the cut this past spring at 145 and obviously we gained got up to 150 quickly right after again being realistic but I'm happy like where I am we're at maintenance this Saturday we're going out to go do some Christmas decor hunting with my girls and have lunch and I plan on like eating all the things I definitely feel like I need it. I'm definitely not in maintenance mode calorie wise during the week, but when you add up the weekend stuff, it all balances out to where I am and I'm trying to stay that way for a while. So that way we can like build, you can build muscle and maintenance and that's what I'm trying to do is 
just enjoy all the things, but keep it reined in because I definitely didn't do that over the summer. Lesson learned. I'm constantly learning, guys, too. Don't think that I know everything because I tell you guys I don't. Anything that I don't want you guys to have to go through, that's what these videos are for. I'm going to eat my snack and then I'm getting my nails done. I'm going for like Thanksgiving mode. They did such an awesome job with the Halloween theme. I have some pictures. Hopefully it pans out because, you know, sometimes like you show them something on Pinterest like those birthday cake fails and it doesn't work out but hopefully we do. I mean, they still look fire, even though they're like grown out. I mean, I am loving uh, this new thing. Cheaper, less time, and lasts for a month. I'm here for it. Well, they freaking crushed it. I mean, it was a little bit of an ordeal, but we got her matched. I'm obsessed. Bougie turkey vibes is what I was going for. Don't even ask. You know how I am. 1240, lunch on repeat, minus the popcorn I think I had the other day with y'all. We've got 134 grams of cucumbers, that is the same dip we had the other day. It's fire from Target. You need it. And then this like pita meatball sub thing. Mm, I, I might even put it on plan like the week after next because it's that damn good. 306 calories. Only 300 calories and 32 whopping grams of protein. 28 total carbs and 8 grams of fat. I do have a Coke Zero over here as well. Still chugging on water. And I have a mile long list of things I have to get done. Who's with me? If y'all don't see that meatball pita in the rotation for lunch or dinner in the next couple of weeks, y'all better comment or send me a message on Instagram and be like, girl, pita meatballs. Don't forget to put it on playing. Did you just have a bath? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're attacking everybody. He's feeling frisky. He's all clean. But y'all, this hair, this hair is no joke. Like we got to get a little, little vacuum, a little, uh, Roomba or something. There's one on Amazon that's a pretty good deal versus like the name brand ones. We're gonna get something because like this, this is this is obnoxious. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the tub is full of it. I can't keep up with you, boy. I cannot keep up. Let's go outside and go potty. Three o'clock snack time. If you have been watching the vlogs as of the past month or so, even longer, this is my obsession for snack here lately. Two lightly salted rice cakes by Quaker. I've got two of the Laughing Cow Cheese. These are the light ones. The plain is the best with this since we don't need any more spice. And then I take a can of tuna, drain it, and put some of this Frank's Red Hot Wings and Buffalo sauce in there, and that is it. It is so good. Don't knock it till you try it. 230 calories, 28 whopping grams of protein, 16 total carbs, and 5 grams of fat. Y'all ask all the time in the closed Facebook group and our like private chats in the Facebook group everywhere. This is the main thing I see. And I have a whole protein playlist here on my channel. Go check it out if you have not. But how can I meet my protein goal? And it's finding things that you like that are high protein and incorporating them. And this is one of them that I like. Happens to be almost 30 grams of protein. So it's a win-win. I've got my Redmond's Relight, Pina Colada, and little sticks in there. And we're going to chow down on this and rush to get Trey off the bus. Almost 6 o'clock, dinner time. We are having leftovers. This is Elise Ellis' Philly Cheesesteak Sloppy Joe's. This is in the new cookbook. Let me get it for you guys. The hardback that she just released. It's a spiral. Not really a hardback, but you know, cookbook. And it is in there. A lot of y'all asked me on Instagram if the Philly Cheesesteak Sloppy Joe's were in there. This is over 100 or 100 of her most popular recipes for macro-friendly foods that she's compiled into a cookbook. Love this spiral on this and it's a lot of the ones that you guys have seen me make on here and in Burgess will get you a discount on the cookbook as well if you're interested but this is the second night we're having it we are using the sweet Hawaiian Sam's Choice hamburger buns they're awesome they're just 150 calories for one bun and I do have one tablespoon of light mayo on there I was going to do cucumber and dip again like lunch but I'm over it for today. So I've just got a bag of the Lesser Evil Himalayan popcorn, which is 50 calories. So everything on my plate is 480 calories. I do have a slice of provolone on there, 40 grams of protein, 41 total carbs, and 16 grams of fat. This is one of our favorites. We've made it multiple times. Messy, but oh so worth it. One of our favorites. Accord 8, dessert on repeat. The Butterfinger Bars by Sweet and Spicy Macros. 233 calories, 24 grams of protein, 22 total carbs, and 4 grams of fat. Almost 10.30. Need to get my booty asleep. I'm in the bed. Over 10,000 steps. We hit our goal. And we did good on our nutrition as well. 18.59 on the calories, 176 grams of protein, 182 total carbs, and 45 grams of fat. I'll see you guys for the rounding out of the week of this deload for Friday.
I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic You can't stop it, it's been chronic Since I was a boy so neurotic and chaotic I'm Go. to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat em. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep them out your face, no way you don't want it, yeah Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy Morning! Happy Friday! We just freaking cranked out a leg day Number two of the week Last day of our deload what are my thoughts about this deload? That deloads are not easy. If deloads are not easy at all, I mean, nothing's ever easy, right? When you're going into the gym, you're putting in work, none of that's ever easy unless you're just in there not doing anything and just playing on your phone or talking to your friends the entire time. But I went into, or not really going into this deload, but this is what I've thought in the past as far as deloads and why I haven't done one because I'm stubborn. I keep saying I'm hard-headed and thinking that a deload was going to be so easy and I'd be wasting my time. Like, I need to stop with the foolery. I need to stop with the foolery and do what I know I need to be doing. And I'm glad I did it because it's just the medicine that I needed. Going into next week, I'm going to go balls to the wall is my plan. Always my plan is to progressive overload, you guys know. But I just want to really push myself and try to gain as much muscle as we can while being at maintenance, not really being in a surplus. But I will say this is that I had decreased the cardio today, only did 10 minutes of cardio versus my normal 30. And I'm going to continue to do that. So like if I feel like doing 10 minutes on the treadmill after I get done with my strength training, I'll do it. If not, I'm not going to worry about it and just focus on still getting, of course, my 10,000 steps each and every day. I want to really focus hard on training, not really focus on cardio, building muscle. Is cardio good for you? Absolutely. Do I promote it? Absolutely. You know that. But just where I am in the stage of my journey, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I have been so freaking ravenous this week. I don't know what is going on, but the scale is reflecting to the lowest weight I've been at today. It's like 151.6 and I just keep on steadily losing and I shouldn't be losing necessarily in maintenance. I mean, it's a fluctuation and it's an average per week, you guys know. And on Saturdays, we usually have like our steak and baked potato night or we go out or whatever. So I account that for the average weekly for my maintenance so I can kind of like not worry about tracking, eat what I want on Saturday. But it still has been slowly going down, even with doing the like refeed days is what I call them on Saturdays. So I may, after we get back from our trip, maybe the week after we get back, increase my calories, not by much, to maybe like 1,900 calories, which gives me an extra like bag of lesser Eve or popcorn or a cheese stick. And that doesn't sound like much, but it is. And I've been like at the end of the night, every single day this week, like my stomach growling, starving. And like when I'm doing my workouts, hungry, stomach growling, starving, and that's not like me. So that's my body telling me, hey girl, you need more food. If you wanna fuel your body the right way, you wanna gain muscle, you gotta give it what it needs. I'm definitely listening and I will incorporate that when we come back from vacation. Cause you know on vacation, I'm not gonna be tracking weigh in crap. I mean, occasionally some things just because it's like my day-to-day -day thing, like coffee and stuff like that. But when we're out and about, I'm just gonna get whatever I want and have that be like a true a deload week and just enjoy myself. Cause we don't do that often. And I say all the time, 
can enjoy yourself as long as you get back right on track when you get home to your same routine and it's not going to set you back. You come back and you just keep on with the same issue you did on vacation and it rolls around in months and months and you look up and you're like, where where did this even come from? So I've got, I've got plans. I'm happy where I'm at, y'all. I'm seeing like the, the most definition I feel like in my body right now where I am in my journey and I'm feeling the leanest I have felt even with the scale going up. So get the scale out of your head. If you wanna gain muscle, guys, muscle weigh something so the scale is gonna reflect that. Do I care about getting to my lowest cut weight of 145 again that we were at this past spring? I don't. My main goal is not about the scale. It's about a certain physique body goals that I want for myself personally. Whatever the scale reflects, that's what it reflects. If what I look in the mirror and it reflects what I want. And that's the mentality that a lot of you guys need to get. Y'all are like chasing a number on a scale. You get there and you're like, ooh, I don't like what I see. I was there. I got to my lowest weight of like in the 120s when I was doing keto and I did not have the shape that I wanted. I had like no behind. I had a not as much definition as I wanted in my arms and stuff like that. In my back, we definitely have come a long way and learned a lot in the process. And I hope these videos are helpful and motivational to you guys to know that you don't have to revolve your life around the scale and also that you can do whatever you set your mind to and whatever you commit to as far as putting the work in, you will see results, but it's going to take time. It's a long process. It isn't a quick fix. I still have a long way to go and we've come such a long way too. You know what today is? Today is grocery pickup day. So I'm over here by Sam's Club, which is like the opposite side of like where my Walmart and stuff is. I got to go on that side. The struggles are real with the grocery pickup. First of all, problems. Cannot complain at all. But end of the week strong. Tomorrow we are going like beast as far as food goes. We're going out to eat Mexican. I haven't had out to eat Mexican in. I can't even tell you guys. I'm so excited. I mean, it's the little things. I'm so excited about that. And then we're going to do steak and baked potato night, even though at home, even though I'm going out. And of course, we're going to freestyle the nut butters. And we get right back on track on Sunday and kill it. That's the plan. Having extra carbs, extra food to go and roll into Monday and freaking hit that week strong. And then we got one week after that, I think. And then we're going on vacation. Like this is crazy. Like Christmas is coming up, all the things, but your girl is here for it. I did already eat my snack. I had different beef jerky today. This is the Jack Link's beef jerky original, 10 protein, 70 calories. And then I killed a banana. So I was so hungry. I couldn't even wait and show you guys. And I had to kill my snack, but we're going to get all this stuff. You know, it takes forever in a day. And then we will get home to repeat lunch. 12, 16, groceries, pickups done, groceries put away, filmed, all of the things. We've got lunch on repeat, but we have one less meatball. That's all I had. So I'm using it up, getting out the freezer, but so good, like I've been mentioning. And instead of doing cucumbers and dip, I'm switching things up and doing my favorite right now is this cheese that snapped. It's got to be the double cheese is the goat for me anyway. 100 calories a bag. So everything you see here is 331 calories, 29 grams of protein, 33 total carbs, and 10 grams a fat the bomb just wish i had more of those chicken meatballs i should have freaking stocked up because they are the goat i mean how old he is in the store one week gone the next 243 the week of the deload also is the week of starvation i've been so freaking hungry this week it's not even funny like bad hungry i've been so hungry not long after we ate lunch i don't know what's going on but we are dairying it up right now we're having a fair life protein shake 30 grams of protein the chocolate and then a baby bell white cheddar cheese 70 calories so everything is 220 calories 34 grams of protein four total carbs and nine grams of fat like this is a problem with the starvation next level starvation like i cannot i mean is it tomorrow yet so i can go crazy and eat all the food and the protein that i want and that i need dang y'all we've got to change something after the vacation i'm thinking with these macros Oh, not by much, but just a little bit to help me out. So we've got Elise Ellis's shrimp fried rice. The chicken fried rice is in the cookbook. I know somebody's going to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. And the only difference she does with that recipe is she changes the proteins. So this is shrimp, chicken, and she has a beef one, which is probably my favorite. So, so good and so easy, might I add. And we are doing the Great Value Pork Egg Rolls. I just featured this in my last grocery haul. It's the same exact, exact macros as the ones from Aldi. We ran out of the ones from Aldi. And I have not tried these yet. I had the Aldi ones. We had two left. I had those the first night. So I will give you my update. They look a little bit different. Actually, like 
crispier than the Aldi ones. So I'll give you my review on which ones I like better. And then I've got some of the G Hue sweet chili sauce on here for a 463 calories, 30 grams of protein, 58 total carbs, and 12 grams of fat. Guys, this hunger is like crazy right now. Any of her fried rice recipes are bomb. Verdict on the pork egg rolls by Walmart. I think I like this one slightly better than the Aldi ones, y'all. I mean, the price point was around the same, if not a little bit cheaper. Macros are exact. So if you, everybody's got a Walmart close by, not necessarily an Aldi, pick these up because they were fire. I put mine in the air fryer, just FYI, on 350, like it said, for about 12, 13 minutes. I like mine crispy. Seven o'clock, never skip dessert and desserts early because you know why. I don't even need to say it. It's the theme of the day, theme of the week. We got two of the Butterfinger bars, same macros as the past couple of nights. I think I have one left. We'll try to squeeze it in over the weekend so it doesn't go to waste. These are really good. I will definitely make these again. 11 o'clock, 11,000 steps. We met our step goal today. Nutrition on point, 18.28 on the calories, 162 protein, 192 total carbs, and 47 grams of fat. Our internet has been down all day, so hopefully you guys are seeing this on Monday. Struggles, first world problems are real, but when your job revolves around it, I said this with Ida last year, it's a big deal. It's crazy how we're dependent. We're on the freaking internet now, right? But we finished this D-Low week strong. I feel super pumped and good about it and ready to go and kill this next week. Hello there. Eddie and Nicole coming at you. So just wanted to end the vlog and update you guys on yesterday's like supposed to be <sighs> bulking up day not really but enjoying the day you know I look forward to those things every single week as like an off plan not even day but meal basically and we went to a new Mexican restaurant to our area and I am not a complainer at all when it comes to food especially like almost everything usually I am like going to enjoy and your girl's gonna eat it it was the worst food I've ever gotten at a restaurant in my life. Like we didn't even eat lunch. It was ice cold when it came to us. The service was terrible. Just overall, just a horrible experience if you've ever had that. And it's so disappointed when you've amped the whole week and looking forward to that. And not just myself, but like my sister and the rest of the family did as well. So it was a huge letdown, but we totally enjoyed each other's company and the shopping that we did was so much fun afterwards. And then we came home and we did steak and baked potato night. And then I did freestyle a little bit of my nut butters. I even bust out one of my shamrock and I am down to like two and a half if you count the one from last night. We didn't eat half of it, but I'm down to three jars. Like what is my life? Where is St. Patrick's Day? It's the best. It still is the best flavor in my opinion and my taste buds. It is the best out there. Nothing has come close to it yet. It just kills everything else, which let me tell you, there's some good ones. As you guys know, that one is just my absolute favorite and it will always be until something else comes out and beats it. But I freaking love that one. And we found a new like caramel popcorn at Target I bought and it's like the goat like I gotta go back and stock up on it that's how freaking good it is it's like a pecan caramel cinnamon roll win by favorite day don't buy it out where are you if you live by me don't go and buy it out because your girl's going to stock up but just wanted to pop on and end that we weighed in yesterday again lower than I mentioned earlier in the video at 150 like what 150 and then we got on the scale today and 152 which is nothing coming off of a like evening where you're eating whatever you want that type of thing and then I basically just ate chips and queso at the restaurant I didn't eat anything else so that's not a big fluctuation either so like I mentioned earlier in the video that when I go back to these like maintenance calories which is really not my maintenance I've told you guys that um that I'm going to continue to lose because it's still like in a deficit, especially if I'm not like going and eating a lot on the weekends, which I haven't been lately. So I'm thinking that after vacation, like I said, we're going to adjust some things just because I need the extra fuel. I can feel it sometimes. I'm not feeling my best. I'm feeling tired. I'm hungry. And you shouldn't be feeling like that in a maintenance stage in your journey. Will you get hungry in your maintenance stage? Absolutely, you will. You will get hungry in maintenance. Don't think that that's not the case, but you shouldn't be starving all the time and the scale shouldn't be going down it should be staying steady even with your allotted off-plan things I shouldn't have the big drops that I've been seeing so we will adjust things here soon but this deload week mm, chef's kiss I'm loving it definitely will 10 weeks it's already marked on my calendar we are doing the damn thing and incorporating it let's hope that this week we go into it beast mode and strong 
and freaking crush it, hit new goals, all the things. And leading up to vacation, we are just going to try to max out until we have a complete rest and relaxation week. Won't be rest and relaxation, but you know, from the gym and from tracking. We haven't done one of these week long vlogs, a long vlog in a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got the internet back, so hopefully everything's okay. I was a little scared because it was reminding me of like Hurricane Ida vibes, like two days straight, no internet. But we got it up and rolling. Everything's all good. Thank y'all so much for reaching out about the boys and their health. They've still got the croupy cough. Like I don't feel like that's ever going away. It's been like weeks now, but they have been been back to them old selves. Everybody's in great health and shape and we are ready for our vacation, ready for all the things. We're about to go and actually put up the Christmas tree. I know, I think it's like November 5th and we're putting, or the 6th and we're putting up the Christmas tree. Don't come for us, but Waylon is so excited and wearing me out. So we're doing the damn thing, especially since of us be on vacation, that kind of thing. I told you guys that. So we're about to go and do that and have some fun, even though it's hot as all hell out here, y'all. If you live in the South, you know, it's in the 80s, in the 80s and we're in November. Like, just give me a 70 degree. That's all I'm asking for, Mother Nature. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for the love and support and always watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you are new, of course, hit all the bells and whistles. I'd love to have you here. We'll see you in next week's video. Hopefully, it is um, a success story with coming off of this deload. See you next week. Bye, y'all. Freedom is priceless, spread just like a vibe.